Hello students, we are doing chapter number 5 simultaneous linear equation exercise 5.2 till question number 8 we have already done and today we are doing from question number 9. First part Px plus Qy equal to P minus Q and Qx minus Py equal to P plus Q. So if first equation we will multiply with P and second equation we will multiply with Q. This we will multiply with P and this we will multiply with Q. So Y coefficient will become same and we can eliminate the Y. After multiplication it will become P square X plus P Q Y equal to P square minus P Q. Second equation if we multiply with Q it will become Q square X minus P Q Y equal to P Q plus Q square. This is first equation and this is second equation. Now y coefficient is same in both the equation. We can add these two equation. Adding equation 1 and 2 it will become p square plus q square x and this thing will cancel out and here p square minus p q plus p q plus q square. So this middle term will cancel and we have p square plus q square x equal to p square plus q square and this thing also we can shift another side p square plus q square and it will come for division and it will cancel out numerator denominator is same so x value is 1. Now this x value we can substitute in any one equation. x is equal to 1 in equation 1 p x x is 1 plus q y equal to p minus q so this p we can shift another side q y is equal to p minus q minus p so p to p will cancel out y will be minus q by q this q also we can shift it will come for denominator and it will cancel out y value will be minus 1. So we got here x is 1 and y is minus 1. Second part of question number 9 x by a minus y by b equal to 0 ax plus by equal to a square plus b square. So first this first equation we will change into the simplest form LCM for a and b will be a b. We will multiply with AB whole equation. It will become AB into X by A. AB into Y by B equal to AB into 0 it will become 0. Here A we can cancel and here B we can cancel. So this equation will become BX minus AY equal to 0. Second equation we have ax plus by equal to a square plus b square. So if we want to make this y coefficient same this first equation will multiply with b and this second equation we will multiply with a. Then it will become b square x minus a b y equal to 0. It will become a square x minus plus a b y equal to a into a square plus b square. Now y coefficient is same we can add adding equation 1 and 2 it will become a square plus b square x this thing will cancel out and here we have a a square plus b square. So this a square plus b square also we can shift to this side it will come for division and it will cancel out. So we get x value is a. This value we can substitute in any one equation. x is equal to a in equation 1. Equation 1 is this simplest form we will take b x b into a minus a y equal to 0. So we can write it as minus a y equal to a b minus a b 
8 minus to minus we can cancel y will be a b by a a also we can cancel y equal to b so x value is a and y value is b for this question next we have question number 10 solve 2x plus y equal to 23 and 4x minus y equal to 19 so first equation is 2x plus y equal to 23 and second equation is 4x minus y equal to 19 so here no need to multiply anything already y coefficient is same so if we add these two equation 2x plus 4x will become 6x and y to y will cancel out 23 plus 19 will be 42 so x value we got 42 by 6 means 7 this we can substitute in any one equation substituting x is equal to 7 in equation 1 2 into 7 plus y equal to 23 14 plus y equal to 23 so y value will be 23 minus 14 equal to 9 so we got x is 7 and y is 9 after this we have to find out the value of x minus 3y so substitute here 7 minus 3 into 9 7 minus 27 equal to minus 20 second one 5y minus 2x 5 into 9 minus 2 into 7 45 minus 14 31 question number 11 the expression ax plus by has value 7 when x is 2 and y is 1 when x is minus 1 y is 1 it has value 1 find the value of a and b so first we will substitute x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 then value is 7 means in place of x and y we will substitute its value equal to 7 for second equation minus 1 x is minus 1 y is 1 and value is coming 1 so we got these two equation 1 and 2 here b coefficient is same only simple symbol also same so we will subtract these two equation subtracting equation 1 and 2 change the symbol for subtraction 2a plus 1a it will become 3a b minus b it will cancel out 7 minus 1 is 6 so a value is 6 by 3 means 2 this a value we can substitute in any one equation substituting a is equal to 2 in equation 2 minus 2 plus b equal to 1 so b equal to 1 plus 2 equal to 3 so we got a is 2 and b is 3 next question number 12 can the following equations hold simultaneously if so find the value of x and y so three equations are given then we have to show that these three equations hold simultaneously or not so first we can solve any two equation three equations are there any two we can solve from these two equation and we will find the value of x and y for two equation and that we will substitute in the third equation and check whether it is true for the third equation or not so first equation we have 3x minus 7y equal to 7 and second equation 11x plus 5y equal to 87 this is first second and third so first we will make y coefficient same first one will multiply with 5 and second one we will multiply with 7 so it will become first equation will become 15x minus 35y equal to 35 and second will become 77x plus 35y equal to 609 now we will add these two equation after adding we will get here 92x equal to this will cancel out 644 so x value will be 644 by 92 cancel it out 246 and 3 122 223 161 
and 23 7 times it will go so x value is 7 that we will substitute in first equation substituting x is equal to 7 in equation 1 we will get 3 into 7 minus 7 y equal to 7 21 minus 7 y equal to 7 so minus 7 y equal to 7 minus 21 minus 7 y equal to minus 14 so y value will be minus 2 minus you can cancel 14 by 7 means 2 so we got here x is 7 and y is 2 now y is 2 this we will substitute in third equation and we will check whether it is coming true or not substituting x is equal to 7 and y is equal to 2 in equation 3 we will substitute left side only and we will see whether it is coming equal to right side or not left side is 5x plus 4y 5 into 7 plus 4 into 2 5 7 35 4 2 8 35 plus 8 is 43 so yes this is coming equal to right side it is true so we can write therefore yes these equations are these equations can hold simultaneously So this exercise is completed. Hope you understood all these questions. Keep on practicing yourself also. Thank you for watching this video.